have a question for you. Do you like dinosaurs? Well, I'll make a deal with you guys. If you leave a like in the next three seconds with your nose, a dinosaur will spawn in. Whoa! Guys, check it out. It actually worked. Oh, you guys thought I meant in Minecraft? I kind of thought I meant that too. Well, I guess Tuco is going to be joining us for today's video. Hey, Tuco. Long time no see. Somehow he got up on my head. Well, I guess we're stuck like this for a while. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video where we are going to be starting up our very own Minecraft Dinosaur Zoo. So step number one of building a dinosaur zoo, of course, is to get a dinosaur. So we have three different options here, but I'm going to go with the classic Velociraptor egg. Would you like to buy it for $500? I mean, I guess we have to. Let's go ahead and purchase it. It's a Velociraptor. Let's go ahead and take it over to our brand new Velociraptor exhibit and let's plop it down. Oh, it's going to hatch in three, two, one. Come on, let's see it. Yes, dude. Guys, I'm going to need your help in naming the dinosaurs from today's video. So go ahead and leave some name suggestions down below in the comments for our brand new Velociraptor. I think right now he's just a baby, unlike the thing on my head who is giant. So I'm thinking by the end of today's video, the Velociraptor could get a lot bigger. Let's head outside of the Velociraptor exhibit before I get eaten. And let's check out our brand new store. We can go over to facilities and we can actually buy a carnivore farm. We'll build that right next to our brand new Velociraptor exhibit. So this is where I'm going to get the food for all of the carnivores in our dinosaur zoo. We're going to go ahead and grab our carnivore meal. Well, hello there. Oh, we have visitors already. Welcome to the Beck Bro Dino Zoo. Enjoy your time. Let's go ahead and take our carnivore meal inside and let's feed it to our baby Velociraptor. Oh, they loved it. Who's a good little lizard? I need to make sure I'm super nice to this thing or else it will eat me for lunch. Now, we also just realized that we have no bathrooms in the Beck Bro Dino Zoo and there's already visitors. So let's go ahead and buy a $300 toilet. Let's see. So it should probably be close to the entrance. So what I'm thinking to do is maybe we can put it like right behind this exhibit. Let's see. Wow, dude, that is a yeah, ginormous restroom. Out. It is kind of a little bit late, so I'm thinking we should probably add some lights. Can I place one right here? Oh yeah, it works. That looks awesome. Okay, guys, so this is our Dino Zoo headquarters. Right here, you can see a live view of the map, and we can actually see everything that we have. So we have our toilets, we have our Velociraptor exhibit, two different habitats, and also a herbivore greenhouse, which makes all of the food for any herbivore. It looks like right now we are currently making zero dollars. We're actually in the negative. So we need to get some more dinosaurs, boys. We have so much space to fill in, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys do have any ideas, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below. So it looks like the egg seller has arrived and I have quite a bit of money. So we should be able to buy some of these. Let's see. So we have the Velociraptor. So we can get a friend for our current Velociraptor. Or we can get a Styrocosaurus or even a Carnotaurus, which is one of my favorite dinosaurs of all time. So let's see. Can I even afford this? Only $500. Perfect, dudes. Wait, I can get multiple. Let's get this guy as well. We might as well get the Velociraptor. Velociraptor too. Okay, Tuco, I, I get it. You don't like the Velociraptor, but please, whatever you do, don't poop on me. Tuco's starting to scare me. All right, guys, in the meantime, I need to go ahead and build some exhibits for our brand new dinosaurs. Okay, over here, let's go ahead and open up our construction menu. Hello there, good sir. So I believe it said that we need a jungle exhibit okay. for our Carnotosaurus. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and we're gonna confirm this build. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they take a little bit to build. Wonder if there's a way to actually just complete it. Eh, it doesn't seem like it, so we might as well start on the other build. We also need to make sure that our dinosaurs are getting fed. Let's see. All right, let's collect this. Can you actually go feed them for me? Or, okay, maybe not. As Beck Bro Dinosaur Master, I will go ahead and feed all of our dinosaurs today. Uh, where's our Velociraptor? Oh, he's taking a nice little bath. Super cute. Okay, it turns out they're not actually hungry. I mean, that's good for me. All right, we'll save that food for later. And we should probably head over to the greenhouse to grab some extra food. In this exhibit, we have the Pachycephalosaurus. I honestly didn't even realize it. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna make sure that you are nice and fed. Oh, turns out you're not even hungry either. Why are my dinosaurs not hungry? Tuco is always hungry. Tuco, chill. Now is not the time to start dancing around on my forehead. I have to do something fast because Tuco does not like what I've been doing. Okay, let's uh, let's open a store. Let's see. Let's open up a food place. Um, let's see. We have a Triceratop Treats, Dino Burger, or Carnivore Cafe. I like Dino Burger. That sounds amazing. Okay, let's see. Can I plop it in right here? Yes, I can. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our brand new restaurant. It is the grand opening. Am I able to get a burger? Is there anybody
anybody working here? <laughs> oh no, dude. I really hope I don't have to work here. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna go back to our info center. And I think if I go to sleep, we should be able to start up the next day. Tuco is getting really comfortable on the back of my head. Ooh, the exhibit finished construction. And that means we can go ahead and teleport over to it. Oh, this guy is not having a, a good time. These dinosaurs don't look so good. I feel sad. What's wrong with the dinosaurs? Don't worry there, Jimmy. We're about to have one of the best dinosaurs you've ever seen. The Carnotaurus. That will hatch in 10 minutes. Stick around, Jimmy. Tuco, I know that face. Every time he makes that face, it means he's about to take a dump. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't feel good about this. Guys, we're gonna go back to the jungle habitat. It's been a few days, so I got my money up. However, for some reason, this is like stuck. So I'm hoping that if I stand nearby, uh, it'll eventually start hatching. But okay, in the meantime, we have lots of money to add in brand new things. We haven't added in a desert enclosure quite okay. yet, so let's go ahead and get that going. Yep, that looks like it's gonna be cool. And right near the entrance as well, I'm thinking that we could add in another store. Tuco, do you like that idea? I think he loves it. Let's get some additional amenities like a ginormous fountain. Who doesn't love a fountain? Okay, so if you walk back, you're gonna run into Dino Burger, and then right behind it, we're gonna have the centerpiece of the entire Beck Bro Zoo. The Beck Bro Water Fountain. Oh yeah, that is glorious. How do you like that? Okay, you have nothing to say. You are a literal NPC. Ooh, guys, the egg seller is back. Let's see what dinosaurs we can get our hands on. There's the Charonosaurus, a healthy dinosaur recovered from a distant land. Okay, cool, that can go in a jungle habitat. Tap. We have another Pachycephalosaurus. And let's see, last but not least, a Spinosaurus. Yes, dude, that's gonna be our best exhibit yet. Okay, let's see. We have uh, the Pachycephalosaurus. Should probably go with its buddy in here. There you go, little guy. And I guess in the meantime, too, we might as well add in another Velociraptor. After these guys hatch, I want you guys to comment down below some different name suggestions. Check it out, guys! Our desert enclosure is all set. I actually don't think we have any dinosaurs that are supposed to go in a desert, so we're gonna wait. But if we head over here, I think that we're gonna have a Carnosaurus. Look at the Carnotaurus. Dude, it is massive. Okay, let's make sure that you're hungry. Oh, okay. Uh, are you gonna eat me? Just whatever you do, please do not eat me. I am the only thing that's gonna feed you. Ah, right, what's up, little Timmy? Look at that. He, he loves this. Our dinosaur zoo is starting to turn around. I love how every time we add in a new dinosaur, it adds in a little information board. I feel like that's so cool. Okay, let's make sure that you are nice and fed. And honestly, this Velociraptor seems to like it in the water water better than anywhere else. Hopefully you guys can be bestest buds. And I mean, while we're here, I wonder if we can add in the Styracosaurus. Okay, uh, no, it doesn't let me. We can't add in any herbivores because, uh, yeah, our velociraptors would probably eat them for dinner. So that's, that's for the best. Oh, it seems like you're hungry. All right, don't mind if I do. There you go there, little guy. Oh, wait, are you a carnivore? I had no idea. No, wait, diet? It says herbivore. Um, did you eat any of the herbivore meal? Oh, I think that you did because, yeah, I think the food symbol went away. Okay, well, that was only a little bit confusing. Okay, we still have two more eggs, and one of them is a Spinosaurus. Or actually, there's three. There's the Charonosaurus, the Styrocosaurus, and also the Spinosaurus. Well, I'm kind of curious if we can add this guy here. Okay, no, it, it's another herbivore. Our Carnotaurus would eat this thing alive. Okay, so that means we probably need another enclosure. And I think the best thing that we could add right now is, um, probably another forest. There we okay. go, boys. That way we could add in our or Spinosaurus before the end of today's episode. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and start building that, Mr. Bob. And uh, let's see what other stores we can buy. What the flip? Okay, what other amenities can we get? There's, um, ooh, a playground and a volcano for $5,000. I'm saving up for that. All right, boys, it's been a few days, and I think, yep, we've racked up enough money. Here we go. Let's go ahead, and uh, we're gonna open a brand new store. I don't know what it is, guys, but Tuco looks very comfortable on the back of my head. Like, I am just pushing my head forward just to make sure he doesn't fall off. Okay, let's go over to amenities, and there it is, boys, the volcano. Oh, we're spawning that in in three, two, one. <laughs> That is epic. How can anybody be mad now that we have an actual working volcano? Okay, really? This guy's mad. Do you not see the volcano? What other zoo has dinosaurs and a volcano? Tell me. Okay, surely if we go over here and check on our Spinosaurus, nobody is going to be mad looking at a Spinosaurus. Okay, this place is looking good. We're gonna go ahead and grab our Spinosaurus egg and we're gonna plop him down in the center. And in 10 minutes, we're gonna have one of the most ferocious dinosaurs to ever walk planet Earth. Look at that, Tuco's getting all excited. Tuco, it's gonna be great. I know, but you really just gotta stay still. He's really trying to rip off my hat. 
Uh, lady, I don't know if you're supposed to be in here. I'm gonna go ahead and feed the dinosaurs. I get that they're herbivores, but like, you might not want to be inside of an exhibit with an actual living dinosaur. Just something to chew on. Tuco, what are you doing? Tuco, just chill. Chill out, dude. This guy is nuts. I am kind of curious. Yes. I was curious if the egg seller was here, and yes, he is. What's up, Gerald? Okay, he has something called a Kentrosaurus for $500. A Tyrannosaurus Rex? No way! And also a Triceratops. A classic dinosaur. Okay, it seems like we actually got our first desert dinosaur, the Kentrosaurus. So we're gonna head all the way over here and we're gonna add in the Kentrosaurus. I don't know what you guys think, but I think the zoo is slowly and steadily coming together. All right, here goes nothing. What is that sound? Is that a meteor? I'm getting kind of nervous, dudes. Why does it sound like a meteor is coming to wipe out the dinosaurs again? It seems like we also have our first indifferent visitor who says, meh, the best park, but not the worst either. I might stick around a bit longer. Whatever, dude. This guy clearly has never seen a cool dinosaur before in his life. Guys, I think yes! The Spinosaurus hatched! Let's go! Oh, this is the best day of my entire life. Okay, I bet this dude's gonna be hungry. And if I don't- Oh my gosh! It exploded! I knew our volcano was heating up! That is epic! Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna feed this dude before he uh, decides that I am on the menu. By the way, make sure you guys don't forget to leave name suggestions for our brand new dinosaurs. Especially this dude. And also, if we go across the way over to the desert exhibit. I think, yeah, this guy hatched too. Whoa, dudes, it kind of looks like a stegosaurus, except instead of like scales on its back, it has giant spikes. Okay, this guy's a herbivore for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna keep building out the zoo. Make sure you guys let me know if you do want to see more. Comment down below your name suggestions for the dinosaurs while you're at it. And if you enjoyed that one, make sure you guys click right here to see more. Click right on Tuco, right here. Say bye, Tuco.